Hey, and we're back. This is Tom again, and I'm gonna name you the top five skills that you need as a film composer in 2024, and at least a few years after that. One, you need to be a very, very good listener. Start with that. Very, very good listener. Listen to what is being said and read between the lines which is almost like a little psychology there, but not everything that is being said or being written down as an email to you gives you all the information that you need. So sometimes you really need to keep that in mind. So first, you need to have, be a very, very good listener. Second, you need to come up with good solutions really quick. So you can't take two weeks or three weeks if the response is on a piece of music well, Tom, we're not quite feeling this. And that is the thing between the line. We're not quite feeling this means it's horrible. We hate it. And so if they're saying we're not quite feeling this, that's the translation. And so I cannot wait for a couple of weeks until I respond or come back with something new. Any unrest that is there on the other side, I need to put that to rest and say, I'll know what to do. I agree with what you said. I'll figure something out in the next day or two, and then everybody's happy, even if they hate the new piece of music again. So, one, you gotta listen very carefully, read very carefully. Two, you gotta come up with good solutions really quickly. Three, you gotta be a very good manager of expectations and manager of your own time. And as you grow in the process and you become a successful film composer with multiple assistants and with an orchestration team and a technical team, now you also need to be a very good manager of all these people's time. Managing expectations is very, very important. Don't overpromise yourself to the persons you're gonna work with. Always under promise and then over deliver. That's how you make people uh, really happy. If I say sometimes, oh, that sounds like a very um, difficult task for me to take on, but I'll see what I can do. I, I, I'm sure I can come up with something. But then I deliver like the, the quadruple version of that. And then they're almost setting themselves up to expect something that is not quite uh, 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 what they want or not quite as good. But then you over deliver and then they're so over the moon happy um, with what they now receive. So that is that one, very, very important, being a very, very good manager. Four, you need to be very creative in all aspects. And what I mean uh, creative, that is creative in, the, um, in obviously in the music making uh, part, but also in the film itself or the TV show. Uh, you need to analyze what is happening and be very creative with your musical solutions, but you also need to be very creative with how you deal with the director or how you deal with the studio. Because this is a people's business. One person uh, on the phone is in a bad mood and, and the next person on the phone is very jolly and is always laughing and always joking. Um, the other person you have on the phone or in a Zoom meeting has some uh, social skill issues. Uh, you need to be creative to be a very good communicator with all these people. So creative uh, in communication, creative in your music, creative in finding good solutions, and creative in being a manager, and creative in being a very good listener. So basically creative of all the things I mentioned before. And then number five, your music needs to be awesome. And the reason why I'm mentioning that last, because it's not the most important thing. It's almost like a dead giveaway. Your music needs to be top notch. It needs to be original. It needs to be incredibly well produced. Uh, it needs to speak to people and it needs to enhance the picture. If you don't have that, we're not even have to talk about like one, two, three, four, five. It's clearly understood that that is how you come. And then people are selected based on the first four things. And if you can do all five of them at the same time, you become a trustworthy, reliable person. And if you have that, all those five combined, that's when you 
have it potentially in you to become a successful film composer. But there's a lot of luck involved in this uh, profession. So even if you have all these five, it doesn't mean necessarily that you have a successful career. Unfortunately, those two things are separate, but these five are very important to me. And that's why I'm naming them as top five. If you disagree or agree, you can leave your comments below with maybe more things that are more important to you. We'll see what you guys wrote or we might come back on it. And I'll see you on the next one.